Hello everyone. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the history of Java. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and see the beautiful history of Java. You know, James Gosling and his team initiated James Gosling and his team initiated the Java language project in June 1991. Okay. In which year? 1991 in the month of June. So the language was initially called oak after an oak tree that stood outside Gosling's office. Later the project went by the name Green and was finally renamed to Java. This is fine up to this. Okay. So you should ask that why the name oak renamed to Java. You know, they were not able to register this programming language with name Oak because some, un some other product was already registered with same name at that time. So, in the year 1990 and 1991, the Oak was popular for development of device drivers related software, but not popular for developing application softwares and internet softwares. Later, Oak language was modified or enhanced to fulfill the requirements of internet programming and was finally renamed to Java. Okay. So Gosling designed this Java with a C and C++ style syntax. Okay, Gosling, James Gosling designed this Java language using C, C++ style syntax. Okay, that's why the syntax is very much familiar, very much similar in uh, in these three programming languages. That is the reason. Okay, so James Gosling designed Java with a C, C++ style syntax that system and application programmers would find familiar. Okay, I hope this much is clear to you. So, you know, the Java language is released by Sun Microsystem in three editions. What are the three editions? What are the three editions? JSC, JWE and JME. JSC means Java Standard Edition. G JWE means Java Enterprise Edition. JME means Java Micro Edition. So, you should know, okay, what are the three different editions and when to go for which edition? Okay, so basically... Java SE concepts are used for developing desktop and window based applications. Okay. Coming to Java EE, Java EE concepts are used for developing internet and enterprise applications. Which applications? Internet and enterprise applications. Okay. And the last one is Java ME. Java ME means Java Micro Editions or somewhere it is mentioned as Java Mobile Edition also because Java ME concepts are used for developing mobile applications. Used for developing which kind of applications? Mobile application. I hope this much is clear. JSE, JWE, JME. Okay, that is fine. Let's move ahead. So, you know, JDK. Uh, JDK beta version was released in 1995. JDK 1.0 version was the first stable version which was released on 23rd January 1996 which is also known as Java 1 which is also known as Java 1 okay when it was released 23rd January 1996 and this is what the first stable version of Java jdk 1.0 okay this much is clear so as of now as of now in the market you know which one is popular as of now java 8 java 11 and java 17 are very famous and are supported as long-term support versions okay before that let's see this point you know since java 8 java se 8 release the oracle corporation follows a pattern in which every even version is released in march month and every odd version is released in what september month fine so this three are what the long term supported versions java 8 java 11 and java 17 so 
in this series i will talk everything with respect to java 8 i will talk everything with respect to java 8 then only we will see the features of java 11 separately and java 17 separately okay first you should learn the basics using what java 8 then we will move ahead and we will learn the java 11 features java 17 features or whatever required okay so let's see one more one more thing might be you have you have seen this type of words also you know j2me or j2sc or j 2 -E. you know so what does it means java 2 platform micro edition java 2 platform standard edition java 2 platform enterprise edition you you might have doubt hey i have told you like jsc jme jme and j -E. but here it is what j 2 -E, j 2 -E, and jme what this two defines you know what this two defines it just represent that addition were introduced in java 2 version these additions got introduced in which versions java 2 versions so later see so sun removed this two from addition names because it is not relevant to the current version java 5 so in java 5 edition names were changed and the new names were like this java me java sc java double okay now everyone everyone knows these things java micro edition java standard edition and java enterprise edition is it fine uh, and this is one plus point okay you know is what is this this is a spider right spider is a code name for java 8 okay this code names are internally used in the uh, in the java organization or in the uh, in the oracle organization to you know this is basically a project name their project name okay this is spider it it is internally used but but you should know you should know this thing okay that is spider is what spider is a code name for java 8 so that is all about the history of you know java so in the next lecture we will see the features features of java the features that java offered hope these things are clear to you so thanks for watching this video and you know you can subscribe this channel to get the further updates thank you